Well today I'm going to be swapping over a sliding door. Uh, this is on the VW T4. Uh, this is my current van and uh, not the high top. Uh, that's the high top just out there. But uh, before I swap it over I just thought I'd show how you actually make adjustments on the door in case it's not actually lining up properly from the outside. Uh, if you need to adjust it so if the back end of the door is still protruding a bit further out so you're not getting a nice smooth line or if it's not quite level on the side there. So when you close it, you generally should have a nice smooth line there. Uh, it shouldn't really stick out anywhere on the on the panels. It should pretty much run pretty much smoothly all the way down. Now, if it's actually sticking out, and uh, well, either way, if it's in a bit too far, or if it's sticking too far out, there's two bolts at the back. So you obviously need to take all of your panels off if you've got any interior panels, and those two bolts. You unscrew those and there's a little bit of movement on play both up and down and back to back and forth so you just move it around ideally you do need a second person around just to help you around because if they can be pushing it from the outside while you're tightening it uh, in place then that will adjust the actual the back side of the door on the front side at the very bottom we've got the, uh, the arm runner uh, connected to the arm on the inside is your main roller so if you've got a bit of a sticky door uh, you need to replace the roller that needs to come off there I say this door moves nice and freely because I've already changed the roller on this so literally one finger and this slides around so I say that uh, slides really smoothly but if your door isn't lining up on this side uh, either height wise or it needs to trim in a little uh, there's three, well there should be three bolts on there uh, I had to slice one of mine off when uh, I cut this door off but try and get a better angle so there's three bolts there and there's a little bit of play as you can see on the cutouts for the bolts so if it needs to adjust the height of the door if it's too high or uh, too low unscrew those bolts and again ideally you could put a jack underneath it and make adjustments yourself if you're on your own but again it does help if you've got a second person they can be uh, making adjustments on the outside while you secure the bolts on the inside sometimes it can take a couple of goes to get it in the right position but uh, it's not really that complicated and that's all there is to it really uh, to actually remove the door again uh, you can get the door off pretty much just by taking those two bolts off and there's a runner on this step I've actually taken mine out already but there's a uh, two bolts one there one there and there's a stop underneath just take those two bolts out and the door would then actually slide all the way out and away uh, those two bolts and that's it the uh, the bottom runner will then slide all the way along and out the channel and those two bolts undo the side runner on the door and then you just literally unhook uh, the top panel there and the door just comes away so I say I'm going to be taking this door off in a second, I'm just waiting for uh, my nephew to come back so I'm get a bit of help with it, but uh, I'll film taking it off and fitting the new one and show you how easy it is. Well that's the door swapped, I thought I'd actually, well I did push record but the camera decided not to, uh, but it's swapped over, i still got to swap the door furniture over, the handle, uh, I'm just feeding through the back lock cable at the moment. Uh, it's still going to need a little bit of alignment when it's in, but uh, there's the old one that's out. So I just had my nephew just support it from the outside while we just ran the slider all the way along after undoing the two bolts in the middle, and then the door literally just comes away. Uh, then I've swapped over the uh, the bottom roller, the top roller, uh, and then we just slid the new door back in. Or well, my old my old door anyway, but uh, we slid that back in and uh, it's gone on straight away. It might need a little bit of alignment after I've got all of the handles and I've put on but I can't close it up until the handles are on otherwise I can't open it again so uh, I'm just going to finish off putting the handles on uh, all of the lock mechanisms then I'll be able to get it lined up. Right well that's the door on and all of the fixtures and fittings on. Uh, it's aligned, it's shutting nicely so as you can see there's a uh, no gap there, it's running nicely and smoothly all the way down to the bottom and along the top it's nice and straight 
basically straight lines on the seams. So yeah, the paint looks uh, not too bad a match either. Let's see, I've sprayed the sliding door and I haven't sprayed anything else but you can see the sliding door still got uh, quite a nice shine to it compared to the sliding door. You can see the gap there. So not too bad. On the inside I've put the stop back in. I've just put a new bolt in there. Quite hard to tell. It's getting quite dark now. As I say that's the that's the actual physical stop there. So if you're taking the door off you do need to take two bolts out of there and that just drops out and slides away. So from the inside again slides nicely shot nice and easy it's just getting a bit dark in here now but uh, as you can see there's no light gaps squeezing through the seals or anything like that so uh, shows I've got the door nicely lined up going against all the seals I'll just open the door because it's just a bit too dark but runs open and shut nice and, nice and smoothly on the runner as well so there you go, there's one sliding door completely swapped over, aligned and adjusted. To make the adjustments, uh, there was quite a bit of fettling needed to adjust the slider in the top because the top runner was just falling out when we were initially trying to shut the door. Uh, then we had to adjust the both the position of the nuts that hold the roller onto the door and then also the height by unscrewing those. Uh, that got the front perfectly lined up but the back was then out so we managed to actually get the door shut completely uh, screwed the nuts on from the inside while it was all lined up and uh, it's held in place nicely so there's that job ticked off and done about time as well